Installing and stoke hole shrink joint to XLPE insulated one core conductor with copper wire screen. Stage 1. Prepare the cable accordingly. Check the correct measurement from the installation guide provided with the kit. Be careful not to damage the semiconductive layer. Check the correct measurement from the installation guide provided with the kit. Spread silicon over the semiconductive layer to ease the peeling process. If necessary, remove any of the remaining semiconductive layer with a piece of glass. Remove the insulation for a length of half of the connector length. Follow the cable manufacturer's instructions when removing the insulation. Brush the conductor with a steel brush. Make sure that the spiral is positioned correctly before installing the termination. Slip the outer jacket on the cable outer sheath. Protect the tubes from dirt. Slip the tubular copper braid over the CSJ cold shrink joint body. Slip the CSJ cold shrink joint body onto the cable outer sheath. Read the connector installation instructions before starting the installation. Install the connector. Install and modify the centering ring if needed. Orient the cable lug correctly.
pre-tighten the bolts firmly and evenly in the following order. Tighten the bolts in the same pattern as before until the shear head breaks. Search for any sharp edges and remove them with a hammer or a file. If a file is used, protect the cable from loose metal fragments. Clean the cable insulation with a cleaning tissue. Go towards the semiconductive layer and finally clean the semiconductive layer without touching the insulation. Last of all, clean the connector. Check that measurement C is correct from the table 1. Table can be found from the insulation instruction provided with the kit. Fill the screw holes with grey sealing mastic. Fill the gap between the connector and the insulation with grey sealing mastic. Apply one layer of semiconductive tape with 50% overlap on the connector and 5mm on the insulation on both sides of the connector. Stretch the semiconductive tape to half its original length. Spread a thin layer of silicon grease evenly over the insulation, the semiconductive layer and over the connector. Center the CSJ joint body over the conductor. Start by pulling the spiral so that the joint body shrinks down 1 to 2 cm from the end. Adjust the joint body so that the edge of the tube is CA 10 mm from the outer sheath cut. Holding the joint body, pull out the spiral gently by rolling it counterclockwise. Apply grey sealing mastic to the gap between the tube and the outer sheath cut. Position the ground copper braid over the joint so that it overlaps the shield wires. Apply PVC tape over the ground copper braid to tighten it around the CSJ joint body. Position the first constant force spring 20mm from the outer sheath cut.
fold back the shield wires and the tubular ground copper braid over the fixed constant force spring. Fix the second constant force spring close to the first one. Remove the excess wires and braid. Be careful not to leave any sharp objects remaining. Apply the self-amalgamating tape tightly for a distance of 80 mm starting from the outer sheath and moving towards the joint. Roll the tape to the same direction as the constant force spring. Self-amalgamating tape should be applied by stretching it to half its original width. Use at least half a roll on each side of the joint. Mark a few guidelines on both sides of the joint to ease up the positioning of the outer jacket. The lines can be approximately 2 to 3 cm apart. Center the outer jacket with the help of the reference lines. Start by pulling the spiral so that the outer jacket starts to shrink down from the end. Holding the joint body, pull out the spiral gently by rolling it counterclockwise. The joint is finished and ready for use. Do you need more information or training? Go to www.ensto.com.